Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be covering um, Oceano, California in San Luis Obispo County, uh, located on the central coast of California. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to do our usual today. We're going to cover what the pros and cons are of moving to Oceano. And also we're going to be covering how the market is looking at the moment. In addition, we'll take a peek at just a few homes of which you can buy in the low, medium and high price range. And maybe we'll have a few extra things as well. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to share my screen here with you. Get this going here for us. And we're going to start by taking a look at where Oceano is located here on the map. So it's uh, you can see San Luis Obispo is the, uh, the center of San Luis Obispo County. And Oceano is just located a little bit below that um, on the, the beach there. And look, you can see why we call this the Central Coast. It's located just right between Los Angeles and San Francisco, a little closer to Los Angeles than it is to San Francisco by about two hours. So it's about a three hour drive to the Los Angeles area and about a five hour drive up to San Francisco, perhaps four or five hours, depending on traffic. But that gives you a nice idea of Oceano. And let's go ahead and zoom in here for you. And you'll be able to see where this is located. So it's kind of known as the five cities area here. This is a Pismo Beach, Grover, uh, used to be Fair Oaks, Arroyo Grande, and Oceano. All these little areas here are considered, the, used to be called the five cities. Um, Oceano is kind of on the southern part. Uh, let me get this Google map up. This is a little better. Uh, zoom in on kind of the boundaries of Oceano, if you will. So you can see it. it uh, it's adjacent to Grover Beach and Arroyo Grande both. And um, Highway 1 is, it runs right through it and is what takes you up to Highway 101, which connects you over to San Luis Obispo or Santa Maria. And then Highway 1 is a great drive if you ever get to take it, although you can take that all the way up to Big Sur or all the way down to Malibu. So really great drive. So always want to check that out if you have a, a weekend or two to spare. A nice, nice vacation type trip. So Oceano here is, like I said, it's one of the more affordable parts of the five cities area. And uh, I think it's a great value. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. And you'll see that as we look at our market numbers, if I can get uh, those up for us here, let's take a look at that. Uh, or actually, you know, before we do that, um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen because really what I want to talk about for a second is kind of why would I move to Oceano? Like what, what's, what's the benefit of it? You know, what am I going to get out of it? Um, you know, what are the pros and cons? Why, why should I move to Oceano? And then why should I not move to Oceano? Right? So we just touched on it a little bit. I, I think the number one pro is that Oceano is situated along the California, beautiful central coast. It has breathtaking ocean views. If you get some of the ocean view properties, it's right on the beaches. It's a very relaxed atmosphere, which goes perfectly with slow County, San Luis Obispo County, a very slow, relaxed, um, lifestyle. If that's what you're looking for, small town atmosphere. And it, the fact that it's near the Pacific ocean provides tons of opportunity for outdoor activities, whether it's driving five minutes to go for a walk or stepping out of your home onto the beach, surfing, fishing, um, all the amazing sunsets and trails that are located all around the area, lots of campsites as well. And the second reason is that Oceano is one of the few coastal towns where you still have that small town vibe, that close knit feeling, if you will. And a lot of the residents that live here really have a sense of community. Um, there's even little debates over, should we have sidewalks or not have sidewalks in Oceano? Uh, you know, cause it still has that old original, small town feel of an old coastal community. So that's really uh, an interesting part about Oceano. And it, it does, it, it's a, a much more peaceful feeling than you get in some of the larger cities along the coast. So um, those are, to me, three of the, the pros of moving to Oceano, if you're considering that. Now, what are the cons? Why would I not want to move to Oceano? Um, <clears throat> of course, don't move here if you don't want any of the three pros I just mentioned. But um, I, I see realtors posting that of like, why I hate Oceano. But uh, the, those three things are, are the real true pros I feel of Oceano. And then the three cons or the, the reasons maybe to consider not moving to Oceano would be limited job opportunities. So 
it's a small residential area, if you will. So there's not a whole lot of job opportunities like you'll see in San Luis Obispo or Santa Maria uh, proper. So many uh, people feel uh, they have to commute. Uh, so it becomes more of a bedroom community, if you will. Um, and a lot of people have to commute to San Luis Obispo, Paso Robles, or um, any of the out, outer outlying or larger cities in San Luis Obispo County. And then, of course, the second reason you may not want to move to Oceano is it, it's impacted by the summer crowds. The, the, the tourists that come, you know, right now, for example, Oceano today might have a high of, let me see, um, here it is for beginning of August. Uh, today, it's it may have a high of 67 degrees. So counter that with like Fresno, where it's probably going to be 190 degrees today. So or Bakersfield, 190 degree temperatures during this time of year. So what does that do? It attracts the tourists, the crowds, um, all looking to cool off. And of course, even just the tourists coming through on buses, trying to enjoy, enjoy the beautiful scenery of, of, of Pismo Beach and the other cities in the area. So you can end up with a little bit of traffic congestion, few crowded beaches. Um, you'll end up with some noise levels during certain times of the year. Uh, it's known for uh, fireworks throughout the year, uh, just people randomly shooting them off. So you'll hear that. Uh, so it gets pretty lively that way, um, even during sports events that are broadcast on television. It's kind of interesting. Um, the third reason or third con or, or thing to highly con seriously consider before moving to Oceano, and we'll get into that in just a bit, is really the cost of living. Like many areas on our central coast, the cost to live here is relatively high. So housing in particular is a big financial consideration for many people considering to move here. Uh, there's plenty of great schools all around, but uh, the demand for coastal properties has really driven up real estate prices. And there's not a whole lot of construction going on with new homes that are available. And so it makes it really challenging for first time buyers or families just trying to find some affordable housing. So we'll look into some of those options here in a bit. So. Um, and, and really, this goes for any location, whether you're looking at Oceano or any place, it's essential to thoroughly research. You can watch some of my other videos where I talk about some of the other communities um, on the Central Coast. Um, it's essential to research and consider what factors that line up with what you're looking for um, in, in what you're, if you want to be closer to work and you're a professional, you might end up at San Luis Obispo, um, or if you're a doctor, there's uh, the larger hospitals are in San Luis Obispo and Santa Maria in the area. So you might end up, um, if you're in the medical profession, end up in one of those areas. So whatever aligns with your lifestyle, or maybe you're a surfer and you just got to live on the beach. Well, welcome to Oceano and Pismo Beach areas. So the lifestyle preferences and what's your priority really does help you make that decision. So my hopes is with this video is to help you uh, determine whether Oceano might be something to consider for you. So now let's go ahead and get into, uh, let's take a look at the market. Let's see how the market is doing in Oceano in general. So let's take a look at that. Um, let me get my screen back up here for you. Share that with you. And we're going to take a quick look at how the market is doing uh, in Oceano. Do, 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 do. There we go. So let's have you all take a look at this. So, oh, and by the way, there was a QR code that if you're wondering what that was, if you haven't scanned it already, that'll take you to a list of all the available homes in Oceano right now. And it's live and updated daily. So even if you watch this later, it'll be available to you uh, with the current list. So let's take a look at this. Let's, let me hide that there for a second. Um, so here you've got the average or median price of a home in Oceano currently is really at about $625,000. Um, so that's actually a little lower than it was this time last year. And um, it's it's definitely going to be a little change to the market than what we're seeing. So that was the, this these are our June numbers. Uh, for example, a three bedroom, uh, if you were to purchase, have purchased in June, they, they were averaging $712,500. A year prior, that would that same three bedroom would have cost you eight hundred ninety nine thousand. So, we have had a little a big shift in the three bedrooms 
um, in terms of pricing. You know, we had a lot of newer homes selling last year. At this time, there was a little development that had some newer homes. So that brought that average up a little higher. But if we're going to call this um, a neutral market, sort of tipping towards a buyer's market. And the reason I say that is because we had 20 homes for sale in June, three of them sold. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And that left us with about seven months of inventory when you divide those into each other. So anytime you're at the six or seven month uh, of uh, amounts of inventory, that's going to tip you into a neutral or buyer's market. So buyers be, be aware that this is a really great time. If you are looking, you might want to consider a place like Oceano because that shows you we have a little more inventory and it's not popping off as quickly as some of the surrounding cities. Uh, that might be more in demand so that if you're looking for a value this might be the place or if you're an investor this might be the place to consider with some of these uh, uh, items that have been on the market for a while and here's why check this out 59 average days on the market currently in oceano for the homes that are that have sold so that kind of gives you an, a pulse of okay it's taking about two months to sell a home this is compared to 14 days just a year ago. So there's been a quite a bit of change in Oceano here so um, that we're seeing. So quite quite interesting points that's happening here. So of those three homes that sold, two of them sold in that 30 to 90 day range and only one of them sold that was over 90 days. So uh, I think something that's interesting to note here is that there wasn't anything that sold under 30 days. And in most of the other Central Coast cities that I've been analyzing and posting on my videos, if you go through my channel, you'll see that the majority um, have the majority of homes selling under 30 days. So this is a unique, the Oceano is an anomaly right now, kind of standing out, if you will, in this sense to me. So I think that's a value to a buyer. So if you're looking, you might want to consider Oceano as a result. So asking prices, how did they get, how did they do? The three homes that sold, one of them sold at original price, two of them sold below original asking price. So um, quite a bit of change there. Um, so we can see it's a little different, uh, not unusual to see things at asking or below uh, versus last year we saw, you know, and in some communities we are seeing several over asking prices, but not so much in Oceano. So in the last seven days, how are we doing right now in Oceano? Well, we've had three new homes come on the market. One of them has reduced a price in the last week and four have gone into contract and three have sold in the last week. So a uh, little bit of activity there, not a whole lot, but again, the numbers are lower in Oceano compared to other places. So if you were to go shopping with me today for a home, we would be looking at about 12 homes that are available for you to go look at if you're looking for Oceano specifically. And those homes are averaging about 55 days on the market. And you can see um, four of the 12 that are available have reduced prices. So we're seeing about a third of the homes reducing their prices on the market. If you want to see a list of those active homes, uh, go ahead and scan this QR code that you're seeing on screen right now. I probably should have zoomed that in a little bit more for us um, just to give you a better shot on that. Um, so you can scan this QR code. Again, it's, these are just for Oceano homes are live and updated daily. So go ahead and uh, take a look at that. And then uh, let's see here. Let's get back to our market data. I want to go over with kind of just review so this data we just ran over on the left is all from June numbers. So I always like to look at how is July doing um, or the last four weeks, because you never know when we time these videos. So they kind of start dating themselves, but um, it gives you an idea of what's going on currently in the market. And are we trending similar to what happened in June? So we see we pretty much are. So $630,000 is the average price for a home in Oceano that has sold over the last four four weeks, we only sold three and the average days on market was 60, very similar to what we saw in June. And then the it's almost mirroring what happened in June is going on in July. We had two sell in the 30 to 90 day range and one over 90 days. So you can kind of see a very similar pattern here. Uh, again, that kind of is where I'm, I'm my statement of saying that Oceano might be a good value for you if you're a buyer and tired of the multiple offers happening in other areas. You might look at some of these homes in Oceano that are averaging 60 days on the market. Might be some good opportunities for you. I might even post that on my social media today. 
Um, so the asking price uh, for those three that sold, this is a, a telling item here. Three, all three sold below their original asking price. So they all took a discount and they were all over 60 days. So here, there's your answer, right? So when you have those two in combination, you might have a very good value in that community. So let's say you're not looking in Oceano, maybe you're looking at another place, give your realtor a call and do a hard look at that area, very similar to what we're doing today, or give me a call. If you don't have a realtor, we can help you uh, consider where you're going in the central coast, what's a good fit for you, and then what, uh, what market might be the best to go look at if you're looking for that value regardless of where you're living. Because some people are doing the, uh, the hybrid sort of uh, work, work life combination where they're able to really pretty much live wherever they, they want and can work from home, right? And maybe only have to commute to the office a few times a year. So let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, here's Oceano, here's the homes we're gonna be looking at today. Uh, we're gonna look at pretty much a, a variety of what's an entry level home and then what can they, what's the most expensive home. So I'm gonna tell you right up front, your values are gonna be in the smaller homes that are on the uh, east side of Highway 1. And then the more expensive homes will tend to be on the west side or along uh, you know, the beach quarter by Strand way off of Pier Avenue, which is the beach access to go drive your car on the beach. So another, like, like I mentioned, there's a lot of recreational activities. This is a big pro of living in Oceano. You're right near all of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the homes that we're going to discuss today. So I wanted to start, I always like to start at, okay, what, what can I get as far as an entry level home? If I'm looking in, in Oceano, and one of the things I, I noticed is, is there is this one that's tempting to look at 375,000 for Oceano. That's great. Uh, however, um, the, the, this one I didn't really want to get into because it, it's, it's, it's almost like a, um, a, oh, what do they call this? My, my mind went blank. It, you're only able to use this property so many days of the year. So it's almost like a timeshare, if you will. Um, so you're, you're the rest of the days you, you're obligated to really rent that property out. I think you get 90 days a year that you can live in the property. Um, the rest of the time it has to be rented. So I didn't really want to, now if this works for you and you want a second vacation home and you're not going to be here much and you just need a place to stay, this is a great value at $375,000. The rest of the time you can rent it out. So that's a good value. However, I'm, I'm really focusing on if I'm moving to Oceano to live here, uh, what am I looking for? So what am I looking at in terms of cost and price? So this is 1611 Ocean Street. It's um, it's a $565,000 home. And you can see here the real plus on this one. It is somewhat of a small cottage, but it's on a massive lot. It's on a 7,000, I call it massive, 7,000 square feet is big for a beach community. Uh, it's a big lot. It's been on the market about 15 days and it was built in 1940. So it's about 83 years old. There is no HOA on these. That's a benefit of them. Uh, again, been on the market just a couple weeks, but it is a, the fact that it's on a small, a large lot like that has a lot of potential for maybe an ADU. If you want to build another unit in the back or maybe take everything out and build a nice big home for yourself or uh, take everything out and put a multi-unit property in here with you know uh, four units or so you'd have to check with the county and the city on that to see what's doable but you can just see the expansiveness here and again like any place in oceano you're usually the furthest you're from the beach is five minutes so really really good opportunity here for you this nice aerial view of the property so there you go so that i think is a great entry level property and again remember you are in a coastal community on the water. So remember we looked at that map there and you can really see kind of where, where you set. I mean, this is, this is a beachfront community for 565 um, entry level pricing. So not bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and get back to my map. I digress. All right. So a mid, so our median price was about in the 630s. So here's one at 650, 649. This is a three bedroom, one and a half bath. This is 1447 16th Street. A really nice place. Um, there is an HOA here. It's 150 a month that covers the usual things HOAs cover. And it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath home. 
It's a 1,267 square foot home on a lot of about 1,600 square feet. So a really nice location, of course, built in 1991. Uh, your, this one does have, a, it's called Vista Dunes is the community here. But here's this one. It's been really updated nicely. So you got a newer roof, 75 year roof on top. You can see the beautiful flooring. Uh, you got that nice, I think those are called four burner fireplaces. So really nice upgraded fireplace, the beautiful counters are nice. I mean, it's just got the granite counters, the new kitchen appliances, you know, quiet closed cabinets. They, they did this one right. And it's got some, some nice wood floors, laminate floors, just a nicely done one. So if you're looking for move in ready, this is nice. The primary bedroom has that nice walk-in shower. I wanted to point that out. That's a nice feature. Um, most people are looking for a single story, but this is a really nice, this is what a three bedroom gets you in Oceano and you get peaks of the dunes here from that. I might even have a peak of the water. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Yeah, it's mainly the dunes, but really nice, nice place there. Has it changed its grid look here. All right, so let's go ahead and get over to um, what I like the best. It's always fun to uh, dream and actually look at homes that could potentially fit your your wants and needs. This is 1590 Strand Way. This is an awesome place. This is a $3,200,000 home on the sand. This is true California living, luxury living on the water. Uh, you can step out of your home into the dunes and onto the beach within just a few steps. So, um, or just short, short drive even, and you can drive from this onto the beach. Actually, you can drive around out of your garage. So pretty amazing place. Um, it is a four bedroom, pretty much a six bath, four full baths and two half baths, um, on a 3,060 square foot, um, interior living space of the home on a 3,500 square foot lot that's been on the market 150 days. So 3,200,000, it's looking for the right buyer is all this is. And um, it was built in 2005, so it's 18 years old. So you see a few features that kind of date it, um, but uh, it's it's truly a beachfront home. It's got the granite counters and you know, the prime, you know, all throughout and really nicely done. This kitchen is amazing for entertaining because you got views of the water from all of it. It does have an upstairs balcony there's your kitchen with the upgraded counters. And what's beautiful is each of the bedrooms has an ensuite. So you've got a full bathroom in each bedroom, walk-in closets with ample space. And here's a view from the, the, uh, the patio uh, balcony and it looks out, beautiful spot. Just a great, great home. So this is a, um, also, I think what's interesting is that this home is licensed as a vacation home. So let's say you want to own the home, but you might want to Airbnb it sometimes. This is licensed for that, it appears. And you've got these beautiful views just from everywhere. It's just a, this is the quintessential beachfront home that you would expect in this price range. So again, that's 3,900,000 on 3,200,000, forgive me. I was overpricing it in my mind, it's worth almost four. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's nicely done. It's clean, move-in ready. There's the outdoor patio. It's a really great home. So definitely one to consider if you are looking at Oceano. And there's something to note too. Check out the, you got some nice copper rain gutters. There's an outdoor shower um, at the property. So if you're coming in after surfing or being on out on the sand, you can rinse off outside. And it's also, you can see, got the drought tolerant landscaping throughout as, as we take a tour through it. Anyway, beautiful home. Uh, this is definitely one to consider. So there you go. So hopefully you enjoyed this nice little tour of Oceano. This is a, a great community and it's, a, I think, a great value for many people and one to consider. So thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. There'll be links below to uh, the information that we've discussed in addition to uh, being able if you can't scan that qr code there'll be a link uh, that gets you a list of the homes that are available as well in oceano at the moment thanks again we'll see you next time